Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I did a whole episode here of, of Freelancer. I flew this ship all the way down from Tokohu. And it wasn't recording. Apparently, for some reason, because I guess Freelancer uses the F keys, my uh, my hot key button isn't working when it goes to OES. So uh, now I have to go in, click, start recording, and then we'll have to do some editing. And we'll see if we can even edit. We'll see what the plan is there. But at any rate... Here we are. I'm in, uh, in one of my alts, Ober Malo. Little, little reference to the Foundation series. Great book. Great set of books. Master Trader Ober Malo. So this was one of my my alts where if I if I wasn't in a Black Knight kind of mood, I would use this one, or one of many. Just wanted to trade a little bit, and I feel like just trading a little bit. I thought I haven't used some of these old chips in a long time. And it's been a while since I can remember how to do this. We have artifacts we can run with. Which, you know, you can run the artifacts out to New London and that works fine. I mean, I have, I have better stuff to, to make money with. I have bigger ships. But just to do this. And then alien orgs. Out to Cambridge. That's probably the bigger, better deal. And it's a speed run because these kind of die off as you go along. That's the more exciting run. I think it's a little bit shorter, so let's go that route. We purchase up the alien orbs. And if I was really concerned, what I should have done is kind of check the long-range scanners. Go to. What you do is you go to the chat window. Those are long-range scanners. Tells you where everybody is. We don't. There's nobody around us in Theta, so we don't have to worry about other players pirate, you know, pirating us. Todenkai is out from New Tokyo. Yeah, pop around here. Now, let's see. Do we have, if we go global here. Yeah, Omega-41 to Omega-45 to Cambridge. That's pretty well mapped out. I think for the long term, I might try to just take this ship around and really get everything mapped out on it. Trading as I go. Just to make a little bit of money. Because if you're really grinding on this, I mean, I've got the large transports I can use. If I was really, really, really concerned about money than doing the whole, you know, double money in the... Uh... Oh, somebody's at that door, so I have to go do that. Hold on a second. Ah, the thing like the wife coming to the door without Dog. the proper key. Has my car key set, which I think I gave my front door key for something else. I usually come in the, the back anyway because that's where I park. So we've lost some money there, but we'll we'll survive. Kick the turbos in here. We do not want to go into the neutron star very far. Set autopilot. This has got some enhanced graphics to it, so the neutron star looks cute. It should drive me around the, 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 the hard radiation. Right? <laughs> I'm honestly not sure now. I'm going to take a little bit of a manual override here just to make sure. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. 
Yeah, it kills you quickly. Okay, and right, now there's mines. Yeah, this is this is an interesting area. Forgot about the minefield. Yeah, we're going around the top of it, so that's why yeah, the minefield is this way. Oftentimes, if you really want to do this, the best thing is to take a take a path to Freeport Five and then go around everything. Mines, mines, mines. Let's see. We haven't lost any equipment, although everything is pretty heavily damaged. We're just gonna get rid of Omega Five. Dog. Okay, now we gotta lock up the Cambridge jump hole. There we go. This is at least pretty straightforward. Oh, I've got, I can stop, stop at Cadiz and repair myself, but you know, the Corsairs could pirate me as well. We're, we're neutral, we're not friendly. Let's keep the speed up here. Speaking of that. A little manual, we're going to try and speed jump this. Now Cambridge, that's one of the, you know, once you get into Bretonia, things are a little, you know, lighter there. The, the ships are a little less tough. That's our goal, Cambridge. There's a couple different ways you could do this. We could, and probably one way that's not a bad plan, is set a best path. You see, it's it's a shorter distance to the uh, to the trade lanes. Then we get the huge speed boost. So we should, you know, it might be the same either way. But once you're in the trade lanes, things are probably not going to bother you too much. I find this relaxing. Like, I mean, actually, you know, I realize the graphics are from 2003 and all that, but, you know, there's... There's something about this game that really allows me to suspend disbelief, and I'm just flying around as a trader, exploring, you know, the serious systems here.
It's a very interesting thing because it's a lot of space with a lot of the atmosphere. There's a ton of dust clouds and everything else like that. So you have some areas that have open space like this, but. Dock. I'll slow it dock. It'll be a little bit slower, but. I think we're coming in on the right side. Yeah. But I think there's always supposed to be some level of dust and things there, so that's why you can have contrails, which make no sense otherwise. They, they mostly the smoke don't make sense, but we forget about that because at least it shows you which way you're going. It's very useful. Punch the cruise engines. Ooh, look, a battle group. Yes. Let's, let's explore the battle group. Let's go on thrusters here. Whoa, they're, they're crashing into each other as the battleship turns around. And the others try to form up. I'm screwing around. I've got alien orgs, which are slowly dying. Okay, let's... We at some point we'll Stop. we'll bring the battleship back out. What if however Queen Throwboard that base can be considered active again? We have to pull some people in if I really want to start playing it regularly. Any recruit. So, let's see. How did we do? Of the 400, we only lost six, so that's not bad. We could run pharmaceuticals out to Ruiz, but I don't know if I want to go in that direction. First things first, let's fix her up. So only 162,000. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. So yeah, that takes away a lot of our, our profit, but we did make some. It was still a profit. So let's get this thing out into space. Or was that an adequate run? That was that was the Alien Orgs run from Theta to Cambridge in a nutshell. I feel like going to at least one new place. New ping, 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 ping. With a battle group around here, that whatever that was isn't going to be around very long. Normally the base guns aren't that strong, but because of the f the uh, the Freelancer Universe mod, they're actually quite peppy. Hang on, new reading. And my guns are pretty pretty decent as it is too. Now where do we gonna go? Up the map. Moving to attack position. Bogey in sight. We're all clear. No more bogeys. New London. Should we should Stop. visit New London? Or is this going just to? Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. New London is in some cases this way. Where am I going? Oh, Aberdeen. There you go. Aberdeen, I believe, is one of the systems added. Do the mod. I could be wrong. Boy, it's been so long. Maybe not. But I definitely think we should go there.
Well, with an empty hull and a neutral wrap, nothing should really bother us. We can just get explore this. I still think of this all as Draco territory. Objective reached. It's not, but you know, it's, it is, but it's not. You know, it's in my head. But I mean, base and Draco aren't established anymore. We're just, you know, the tags are there, but. The mood I'm in now is I, I want to do less GTA and stuff like that, maybe even less TF2. I'm just starting to get back playing TF2, but still. I don't know if I want to do that as like an every week kind of thing. I'd like to do some, some more Freelancer and some more new games. Except it's a little more, more relaxing. This looks terribly like Dublin. Now, we've never been here before. I've never seen this before. This is a new system for me. There's so much to explore then. You know, what's off in those rocks? Probably some, some wrecks. Maybe some hidden bases. Let's go universal on the scanner. Mollies and police. But it looks like another gold zone similar to Dublin. New system. Okay, so this is Brentwood Mining Station. It's obviously, we gotta dock that and get it on the map. You don't, you don't get systems really all the information unless you dock to them. So that's beautiful. Robocop, this is nice. Robocop is the name of the system administrator. Well, not his real name, but... Boink. You gotta remember that the programming mechanics of the game not necessarily designed for a ship this big. This isn't one of the ones you're supposed to be able to fly, but thanks to the flu mod. We repair whatever little dings and doinks we've got. Repair complete. There was a ding and a doink. What do we got here? Gold. And it's a medium okay price. We could run it all the way back to Fukushima. That'd be a hell of a run. They have a ship. The dromedary. Yeah, 8 million. Yeah, I got the better ship already. But the drum. I have drums. Drums are nice. It's not. There, I will be just flying around with drums at some point. Any super weird guns? Ah, standard British stuff. You can get advanced Debs if you're friendly. See, and this is what a police base. That looks like a Corsair over there. Oh, bounty hunter. Some high paying missions for a change of pace. Still shooting at outcasts. But you're doing working for the Bretonians. An interesting place. Attention, all ships in the area. This is we're showing no more bandits on our scope. Oh, 
Okay, let's take one little zip out here. Go to. Do we have any any patrol paths? Yeah, there's some. Let's refine to the, to this point on the patrol path. Go the idea behind the patrol paths is that you you can scan and determine where people generally are going back and forth because of exhaust and stuff like that. And so what we're seeing is that a lot of ships travel this way. Which means there may be something at the end of the line. It's a great mechanic, really, in the game. Help you find things. And sometimes it just breaks off to a different patrol path. As that does. But multiple, there should be something here. Weapons, planets, that's all. That might be just a juncture in the patrol path. So then you say to yourself, well, where do we want to go? If there's nothing quite right there, we can go here. Continue on our search. Bounty hunters. Like, if you want to do an aggressive play on this game, you can do it. And there's a jump hall coming up. The Cambridge Jump Hole. Now we have to dip in and out of this just to get it on the uh, get on the map I'm in Cambridge. I guarantee I don't have the the Cambridge Jump Hole, you know, the the Aberdeen Jump Hole in my map in Cambridge. We'll dip back in and we'll head around. I think we'll we'll, we'll explore Aberdeen for a bit. Maybe not all in one video. That might be a couple video kind of things. I'm taking on hacker. Lane hackers. I haven't heard that in a long time. Okay, so poof. Here we are back in Cambridge. So now that's where that's been added. We target it. Dog. Dip back into Aberdeen. Good to know. There are definitely some advantages to the jump holes. One of which is you hardly... Well, sometimes you have to wait for somebody else, but not very often. And sometimes it's just more efficient. Poof! Let's see, is there another base or something over here? Or another jump hole, maybe. Whoosh. I'm skimming the edge of the asteroid field here. You have to be a little a little alert doing this because you never know when there could suddenly be a minefield. Which we wouldn't lose anything at this point. We just have to respawn at that mining station. Anything should come up by now. That's just another patrol path. Well, we're this far out. What's that? 
Could that be Aberdeen to Cambridge? Um, yeah, it looks like that might be the just the other end of the uh, where we came in. Current mode, you know, obviously kind of allows you to go into aiming your guns, but unless they all track. Also, you get a nice look around at everything. I love how the draw distance on this game is so good that although you can, you can see, there's the uh, Aberdeen to Cambridge jump gate. And this just appears to be a patrol point out here to go around uh, they just, what they use to go around all the uh, armed forces stuff. This interests me, though. Oh, and this leg going off behind the gate. Then we'll take a straight shot down here, and then return to Brent Brentwood for uh, to wrap it up. Yeah, as for a little programming note, I've got pretty much random GTA kind of videos. I went through everything. I edited everything I could edit. I've got a couple that don't want to render, so that's fine. But right now it's November 18th, 2021. And I have videos out to June of 22, once a week for just GTA. And that's not counting the win on Sunday races, which I know I think I have those programmed out to February. I've got three or four TF, you know, maybe five TF2 videos that are already loaded and ready to go, and already primed to go up. So the content is out there. But I, you know, now that I've got all that done, I feel like I need a break from GTA. Like this month, they're doing all kinds of different things with the the heists. The, you know, they started with the standard heists, so we're double money or something like that, and. I did a couple. I, did, I redid the Fleeka because you got a, a livery on your car and tried to... Well, you, I don't know if that video is ever going to come out because that's one of the ones that doesn't want to render. But the prison break was just a disaster of epic proportions. And maybe say, I'm not doing any more heists. This week's Diamonds at the Casino, I'm not doing it. Not even, not even interested. We're looking at... Kyle Perico will be coming up in a couple weeks after that, you know, the week after that or so. Oh, there was Doomsday in between. Not interested. I'm going to try and make sure I'm having more fun. Interesting, that continues to travel kind of off into space here. So I'm instead... Yeah, let's not do that. Put all waypoints. Just set a waypoint. We're just gonna angle I'm back here. Go cutting straight through the rocks and see if anything comes up on the scanner. Dock raping is if, you, if someone's leaving the dock, you blow them, you stand up there and you blow them up. And you just keep doing that so they can't play the game. New here was gunned down by an NPC. Probably is very new. He's in New York, level one. New here! You realize that'll be your name for... You can't really get your name changed. I guess you can get your name changed. You have to ask. Kind of sending this through like it's a stellar probe. Maybe come up. Maybe not. There's not a lot as far as the uh, patrol points, but sometimes they'll put little hidden gems in here, you know? There's a lot of this system to explore.
And this is a nice ship. What they could even call it? Armor Transport Mark II. There is an Armor Transport Mark I. It looks just like it, I think. Not quite as hefty as is tough. But you gotta love this ship. It looks like it's made out of Legos. You could build this out of Legos. You could totally build this out of Legos. It, it, it looks big and comfy, like you can have some nice personal quarters in here. You can imagine a big crew if you want to, or you can just have it be all automated, like I generally imagine it. I'm just imagining, imagining. Safe to say, I think we're not going to find too much out here. But as far as just cruising around exploring, not a bad ship. See, it's got it's one of the few ships that can mount both a torpedo and a cruise disruptor. You have, is it a Star Killer or a full Sun Slayer on this? Sun Slayer! It's a big one. Yeah, we're now we're running pretty close to parallel with the uh, the trade lanes. We're just gonna wind it right in here. I saw you. You were in the there. You go. Whoop, see, almost in the draw distance, depending on what angle you're looking at. Go to. Clear the way, point. As far as the marketability of. Making videos, exploring, you know, some of these systems, especially since they're specific to a server. I don't care. <laughs> this is what I want to do. I think we'll do that. Maybe it's niche enough. You never know. But it's, uh, it's what I enjoy doing. I have to do more. I have to do more stuff that makes me happy as far as gaming is concerned. Because there's a lot of stuff. I mean, particularly that last heist video, which I can't even get to render. The computer just the computer jokes on it. Doesn't even want to look at it. That was just work. That was not fun. That was work. I need more fun. Exploring stuff, you know, the the joy of finding like a new base like this, like Brentwood Mining Station, which is new to me. This whole system is new to me. That's my favorite part about, about Freelancer. One of my favorite parts. There's so many. This is kind of like me driving the Winnebago around, looking around at things. It's <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call this video good. This is, this is your Black Knight, of course. Have a great night.